What's up guys? Today's video is going to be something probably a little different than what you're used to from this channel, but it's been such a big part of my life. I really felt like I had to kind of let you in on what's been going on. This will be a vlog on my journey to attempt my first full distance Ironman. So uh, right now in the car and uh, headed down to New Mexico to stay the night. And then uh, we'll be going to Arizona. Tempe is where it will take place. And yeah, I'm really excited, really anxious, really nervous. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the journey along the way. Out here walking Juno for the race. This is uh, Thursday, race is Sunday. And uh, staying here in New Mexico. So just getting the dog outside a little bit. So uh, Jackie's flying down to meet me in Arizona tomorrow night. Today, I'm just uh, with the dog and myself. So we're staying right near the uh, Animus River here. We've been to Colorado, or Southern Colorado, I should say. This is the same river that passes through uh, Durango, Silverton area. Luxury living here. Day two, starting my day off. Breakfast of Champions, no pun intended, but completely intended. I uh, wanted to sleep in a bit today, but just got really anxious and uh, just decided to hit the road. So it's a little bit past six and uh, Juno's ready to rip. We got about a six hour drive to Arizona. Beautiful, expansive, look at this sunrise, crazy. I thought the drive was going to be boring, man. Look at those views. It's so cool. Officially, well, almost in Arizona. First time in Arizona. Pretty exciting. I had to stop and show you guys this. Man, beautiful right here. Turned around on the road just to come back to show this. got to the house so we're staying just south of the venue give you a quick little tour here pool action outside it'll do if I was in a relaxing mode this weekend this would be pretty awesome look at this place almost 24 hours before race day I'm whispering because it's really early on my watch on but it's like uh just north of five o'clock and i'm trying to get my body on a race day schedule right now uh, everybody else in the house probably wants to murder me though jackie got in at like uh, 1 a.m last night my sister picked her up so uh, yeah just gonna head to the store get some batteries for the bike and uh yeah i'll show you the gear uh, that i'm all setting up right now in a little bit so we got the bike here and then I've just been kind of organizing everything. So we got the run gear bag, so everything I'll need for that. Uh, this is BioFreeze, so it's kind of like uh, icy hot, just really good for cramping. Uh, Advil shoes, helmet, uh, hat. And then here we got the run, run bag, so extra tri suit just in case. All my nutrition, which will be on the bike as well. Uh, I got my glasses, some tubes extra uh, our water bottles, towel to dry off, socks, shoes, sunscreen, helmet. And then, uh, yeah, these are my special needs bags. So, nice hair, huh? So, uh, like halfway through the course for the run and the swim, you'll have the opportunity to have a special needs bag. So basically anything like emergency you need and uh, I'll be kind of figuring out what to put in those still. I have a good idea what the uh, bike one's gonna look like, but still figuring out the run. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for a quick last uh, little tune-up ride here.
got back from the day. Uh, it's about one o'clock and uh, yeah, so just spent today basically checking in my bike and all my gear. Uh, Iron Man doesn't let you film in there, otherwise I would have showed you guys around. Uh, but really pretty low key. Listen to uh, Athlete Briefing, which talked about the course. Water's gonna be 65 degrees tomorrow, pretty cold. So really happy I have that wetsuit <laughs> locked in. The transition from the swim to the bike is like a, almost a half mile of uh, jogging. So it just goes to show you that even when you think you have everything down, something kind of gets thrown at you. So, you know, it's, it's fine, deal with it as, as I will. But uh, yeah, just trying to uh, relax the rest of the day and really anxious and excited for uh, tomorrow morning. All right, let's do this. It's race morning. I am super, super anxious. And uh, yeah, the water's gonna be really cold, like I said the other day. So once I get in the water, I think I'll be feeling a lot better. So the race starts for the pros at 6.40 a.m. And for everybody else at 6.45. Uh, so we're gonna be heading over around 5 a.m. Going in and doing a last minute stuff in transition. And then, uh, yeah, popping the wetsuit on and getting in the water and starting this thing. All right, race day. Got my last little uh, water, little snack before the swim. Now let's do it, two and a half mile, 2.4 swim. And then uh, 112 bike and a 26 mile run, AKA marathon. Let the suffering begin. Mickey Martin, you are an Iron Man, Mickey. 
Cheque. Morning of the next day. Twelve-ish hours post Iron Man at this point, and uh, yeah, really happy with my results. So finished in uh, twelve hours nine minutes. <laughs> So uh, a couple notes from the race. The, the swim went pretty much as expected, right? Finishing right when I uh, wanted to. The uh, transition from the bike to the run was uh, like a half mile. So that was a pretty long transition. Uh, and then on the bike, I actually got a penalty, a penalty. Um, so I had to sit in the penalty box for five minutes, which sucked. And uh, yeah, so that took those two things added probably about 10, 15 minutes to my overall time that I had no control over. And uh, so my, my finish time was 12.09. I would have been easily post uh, or, or under 11 or 12, I should say, um, if I didn't have to deal with that. But uh, yeah, the race went well. I, I, uh, I ran a little slower than I would have liked, um, just about a 10 minute pace for the marathon. But um, I, I didn't stop the whole time, which was a goal. My legs felt really, really strong, uh, so my training went really my, uh, pretty much exactly how I wanted, and then my nutrition during the race was locked in, no cramping at all, which was so key, and I feel like I finally have that part down, which is really awesome. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the footage. Uh, maybe I'll do another video about the uh, Ironman if you all have questions, but uh, again, it's just such a huge part of my life. I know it doesn't really have anything to do with hiking, but um, for, you know, this was a big part of my life for the last past year or so. Uh, it's been a goal for a really long time. So really, really happy with it and trying to soak it in. And uh, uh, yeah, just uh, really enjoyed the race overall. So thanks to my family and, and friends who supported me along the way with this. And uh, yeah, if you're uh, interested in hiking content or like this video, give it a like. Uh, please subscribe to the channel not to miss any future hiking or Ironman related content. And thanks for watching. We'll see you maybe on the next uh, Ironman race.